Hi guys, this is Ines Garcia. I'm a PhD student from the Organovir Consortium, and this is how I start my day during my secondment in Krakow, Poland. So now we are all set for the day, so time to go to work. This is the office that I'm staying in. And this is how it looks inside. And we have here also Ashley from Organovir. And this is my spot. And we have Emilia here also from Hi. Organovir. Well guys, now that you met the other two students from the Organovir Consortium, I'll take you to the lab. First, in the entrance, we can find a fluorescent microscope and then we can enter directly the virus lab. This virus lab is a BSL-2 level lab and we can find several things inside. First of all, there's a hood, <laughs> an incubator at 37 degrees, a microscope, a centrifuge, and a water bath. Then if we exit, we go directly to the general lab where we can find uh, general reagents for everyday use. There are also several hoods for isolation. And at the end of this lab, there's the clean lab. Here we do work with clean cells and we keep them separated from the other lab in order to avoid contamination. There's also an incubator, a microscope and a hood. Usually the first thing I do in the morning is write the task for the day. And then I proceed. As you saw before, the first task of the day was to blot a graph. So that's basically what I'm doing here. So as I said before, I'm a PhD student from the Organovir Consortium. Organovir is an ITM that works on the development of organoids for virus research. And um, one of the best things about this ITN is that we get to do secondments with other institutes. Uh, secondment is basically a temporary transfer between institutes. For instance, I am based in Amsterdam, but I'm currently working in Krakow. During my secondment here in Krakow, I am working on CRISPR-Cas screening. In brief, uh, we all have an instruction manual that is called the genome. So with CRISPR-Cas, we can modify these instructions and see the effect of these modifications on virus infection. And that's basically what I'm doing. I sometimes cook and other days we have lunch at the cafeteria. They have a good selection of warm foods that you can usually accompany with a salad and all of that for quite a good price. After I finish my experiments for the day, I always like to take notes to keep track of everything I'm doing. Hi, I'm Ola. I had the pleasure to work with Ines on CRISPR-Cas knockout screenings. Hi, I'm Chris. Uh, I'm a professor here at the Yale University and I had the pleasure to work with this excellent scientist and actually also a great pleasure to host Ines here, who is doing an excellent job uh, together with um, uh, our mem team members. So I just finished my meeting with Chris and Ola and today I also have a Dutch course at 6.30 and I still need to run some errands, so I'm going to be finished here also in the office. So I'll see you later in the center. Like I said before, I had a Dutch course at this time. So this is me having fun in Dutch. Doei doei! After a long day at work and a really productive Dutch lesson, 
I cooked some pasta for the next day and a chicken wrap for dinner. So sorry guys, I forgot to do a goodbye video, but this is basically how I finish my day. I usually have dinner around this time while I watch some Netflix and then I just get ready for the bed and the day is ended. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!